Hello, this is Dr. Huffstater, and this morning it's turning out to be a beautiful spring morning here in Nebraska. I uh, couldn't wait for spring to come. I hope things, are, things are, are getting alive and green and beautiful where you are, too. But I just recently learned about something that I wanted to share with you. It's been in the, uh, kind of in the news lately, uh, at least the news uh, that I sniff around in. And it's this, this product, it's actually been around for quite some time, but, but I just recently learned about, about it, uh, called Meat Glue. Uh, are you familiar with this, Meat Glue? And basically what Meat Glue is, is it's a, it's a, you probably have encountered it more than once in your life. Meat Glue is this stuff, with, uh, it's an enzyme, it's called, it's called uh, transglutaminase enzyme. Uh, but what they'll do is they'll take, the, the butchers will take uh, scraps of meat, could be beef, could be pork, uh, could be fish, any kind of dense protein. But they'll take scraps of meat and and put this this transglutaminase enzyme on it. It's in a powder. They'll roll it up, uh, you know, coat the scraps with the powder, and roll it up in some cellophane, refrigerate it, take it out, slice it into uh, wedges, and 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 if you took scraps of of say beef loin. Uh, and and uh, glued them together with this transglutaminase enzyme, it would be indistinguishable from a from a fillet, uh, and even a even a, an expert butcher often can't tell the difference between a, a, a fillet that's been glued together and an actual fillet that was that was taken from a uh, uh, from an actual uh, actual beef loin. Now uh, this is this is not, this is not good. Uh, and it's not good for, for primarily one reason. Uh, is, there, is there a danger with consuming transglutaminase enzyme? I, I don't really know the answer to that. I, I looked into it, uh, and it doesn't look like there probably is any great danger of consuming transglutaminase enzyme or this meat glue stuff that it's called in the industry. But here's the danger. Uh, say a, a filet, a beef filet, that's, that's been glued together versus a, a fillet that's an actual fillet that hasn't been glued together by any, any, any the addition of any enzyme. The glued together fillet is going to have a uh, much, much higher uh, bacteria count and your chances of, of, uh, of contracting uh, an E. coli poisoning or something like that from a glued together meat is much, much higher, way higher. Um, especially if you, like me, like to cook your beef a little on the rare side. So if you like to cook your beef rare, or medium rare, which is the best way to cook it, not only does it taste better, in my opinion, but it's also better for you to cook your beef rare if it's a high quality beef. If you're going to cook together a glued piece of beef, uh, if you're going to cook a, a piece of beef that's been glued together, uh, cooking that rare, not a good idea. Not a good idea, uh, because you're going to have a higher chance of, of bacteria being inside the meat than you would if it were an actual piece of meat. Um, I, I don't know how one would find if there's transglutaminase inside your inside your beef. Uh, if you get it from the butcher, you can ask him, is this glued together or is this real? And he may look at you funny, he may not even know what you're talking about, and that'd be a good sign, I guess. Uh, but if he does know, uh, he, I'm sure that he'd be honest and tell you, no, it's, it's, it's glued together. I'll have to go. I'll have to look uh, next time I'm in the grocery store and look at the prepackaged ones and see if there if there's a list of ingredients on there that includes transglutaminase enzyme because I don't know. I'm going to have to look into that. Uh, but I wanted to share this with you and make you aware of it. And uh, uh, thanks for listening. And we'll we'll talk to you soon. Bye.